Hello, student. My name is Gaitaun Fanta. Today, we are discussing on Ethiopia from autocracy to revolution from 1941 up to 1991. This unit includes the following subtopic. The first sub subtopic, the restoration of monarchy. Second one, consolidation of autocratic power. Third one, challenge of the regime. The fourth one, popular revolution and the fall of monarchy. The last one, the military dictatorship. The first lesson consists only restoration of the monarchy and consolidation of autocratic power. Student, after studying these two subtopics, you will be able to list the weak and strong side of Emperor Haile Selassie the first Second, explain the British and American influence during the reign of Emperor Haile Selassie. The third one, mention the cause of Wayane rebellion. The first lesson, restoration of the monarchy. Haile Selassie came back and British domination. Emperor Haile Selassie returned Addis Ababa on May 5, 1941, after Italian occupation. Emperor Haile Selassie left Ethiopia on May 3, 1936, through Franco-Ethiopian Railway, from Addis to Djibouti, then from Djibouti up to Israel, from Israel, Emperor fly to Manchester City. But in May 5, 1941, Emperor Haile Selassie was returned to Ethiopia. Then the Patriots, the Orthodox Church, and noblemen accepted the restoration of the monarchy. But the power of Emperor Haile Selassie was under the domination of British. The British regard the whole of Italian East Africa or ETA. Or ETA means occupied enemy territory. The British or ETA administration kept for its power in the areas of finance, army, and foreign affairs. Those three important things was dominated by Great Britain. Haile Selassie needed to regulate his relation with British. On January 31, 1942, the first Anglo-Ethiopian agreement. The agreement recognized Ethiopia as a sovereign state, but British to have a final authority over Ethiopian foreign relation, Ethiopian finance, and Ethiopian military. On December 1944, the second Anglo-Ethiopian agreement, the British recognized Ogaden and the reserved area as integral part of Ethiopia. The British also agreed to train Ethiopian military force. By 1955, Howard and the reserved area was returned to Ethiopia. After British, Ethiopia was under the domination of America. After Second World War, America influence became powerful in the Middle East. At this time, Ethiopia took the initiative to get closer relations with America. The relationship between Ethiopia and America was started in 1943, 
for the first time in Pearl Hales Lass and Roosevelt meet in Egypt in 1945. Then at this meeting, Emperor Haile Selassie asked to return Ogaden and Eritrea. The American had felt the strategic importance of the Red Sea and, in particular, the Radio Marine in Eritrea, Radio Marine established in 1942. After 1953, Radio Marine or Kanyo Station became a large self-contained base with more than 300 U.S. military personnel and become an important link USA as a global communication network. Then American replaced the British domination since 1953. During the time of the Korean War, the Korean War 1950 up to 1953, Ethiopia involved in the Korean War. During the time, Ethiopia involved on the side of South Korea because the North Korea was a socialist while South Korea a capitalist. Ethiopia during the time on the side of America. As a result of this, our country Ethiopia involved in the Korean War on the side of South Korea. The emperor showed willingness to provide troops on the United Nations organization. North Korea was to unite South Korea with North under communism. But they then gave military support to South Korea. America is to as a best to involve in the Middle East. Then Kanyo Station commemorate Ethiopian battalion that fought on Korea and returned 22 May 1952. The two states signed an agreement in 1953 governing the Kanyo Station and other facilities in Eritrea. In 1952, the point for agreement signed between Emperor Haile Selassie and USA. Those points for agreement include agriculture, public health, education, and public administration. Again, in 1953, another agreement between Ethiopia and USA. This agreement includes UN U.S. military assistance, first one, military assistance and advisory group, MMAG. Those are the agreement of imperial Selassie with America. By 1917, mind you, student, by 1917, 60% of USA military aid to Africa went to Ethiopia. USA support to Ethiopia maintained by far the largest army in the sub-Saharan Africa. In 1960, again, Ethiopia involved in UN peacekeeping force in Congo, especially the Congo Katanga War. The Congo Katanga War was solved by UN peacekeeping force. As a result of this, our country, Ethiopia, is one of the members of UN. The other one was assistance of civil aviation. In 1945, the American Transcontinental Western Alliance, TIWA, helped to set up Ethiopian Airlines. My student, the Ethiopian Airlines was established in 1945 by the help of USA. Then providing it managing supervisory personnel, US support Ethiopian in the field of road repair and construction because the, ro the road was built by Italy during occupation. In 1957, the Imperial High Authority was established, the loan obtained from IBRD, or International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. The US also contributed on the development of modern education in Ethiopia. Later, anti-American propaganda expanded in the different part of the country. Then, by 1916 and 1917, the university student against US as well as the imperial Lassie. Since 1973, US has stopped to support imperial Lassie. My new student, 1973, the fourth Arab Israel war in the Middle East. Again, Ethiopia lose the support of America. In 1974, one year later, Emperor Haile Selassie 
overthrown from the power. This is all about the influence of Britain and America. Student, the next lesson, consolidation of autocratic power. In 19, by 1942 and 43, became the pillars of Hitler's last centralization of power. Empire was made effective through the Minister of Pain. Minister of Pain was the powerful during the time. The minister had traditional title of Tsahaf Tzaz. The Tzahaf Tzaz 1941 up to 1955 was Walla Georgis Walla Johannes. Walla Georgis Walla Johannes, he was Tzahaf Tzaz from 1941 up to 1952. He was the most powerful and smart political figures. He opposed the other minister. Opposition to the Tzahaf Tzaz was organized by McConnell Abtold. McConnell Abtold was a minister of finance. The prime minister of the time was McConnell Ndalkacho. McConnell Ndalkacho was the first prime minister of Emperor Haile Selassie. He was a Shoah nobleman, remained a nominal figure from 1943 up to 1957. Later, he appointed president of the Senate. Akhilu Abtold became minister of pain in 1958. Again, starting from 1961 up to 1974, Akhilu Habtawal was the prime minister. The other one, Asrat Kasa, the son of Asfos, uh, Ras Kasa, he will become the governor of Eritrea. Ndalkacho Makonin, Mikhail Mru was assigned as ambassadoral post. Abi Yababa, he was minister of war. Yilma Dresa, he was minister of finance. The members of Crown Councils were Raska Sahailu, Siyum Mangesha, Masfin Sleshi, Rasmru Haile Selassie. Those are the Crown Councils during the time of Emperor Haile Selassie. This was the method of Haile Selassie used to maintain his autocratic position. Haile Selassie had also full control over the fiscal policy, the fiscal policy or financial policy was under the domination of Emperor Haile Selassie. He also organized different kailas in the different part of the country. Uh, prime Minister during the time of Emperor Haile Selassie, the first Prime Minister, Ndal Kacho Makonin, the, the second one, Abba Aragai, the third one, Akhilu Habtawal from 1960 to 1974, the fourth one, Ndalka Chomakonin, February 1974 up to August 1974. The last one, Lij Mikhail Mru. Lij Mikhail Mru was assigned by the influence of the Derg. He was assigned by the influence of the Derg. But those are the prime minister. Mind you, the first one, Makonin Ndalka The third one, Ndalka Chomakonin. There are different prime ministers. Those did our country, Ethiopia, during the reign of. Emperor Haile Selassie. The provisional administration. There are there were 14 provinces of Ethiopia during the reign of Emperor Haile Selassie. Those are Shawa, Ilibabur, Kafa, Eritrea, Sidamo, Bale, Harge, Gomogofa, Tigray, Wollo, Gojam, Gondar, Arsi, and Wallaga. Those are the province of Ethiopia during the reign of Emperor Haile Selassie. The 14 provinces divided into sub provinces. Sub province means Auraja and district, it indicates Warada. Totally, according to 1964 count, in Ethiopia there were 99 Auraja or sub province. 444 district or Warada, 1,328 sub-district or Kabale, over which a uniform ad administrative structure was forced from the central government. What expected from them was loyalty and maintenance of peace and security through Satata by the order of Emperor Haile Selassie. The other one, constitution. The 1955 revised constitution. In Ethiopian history, the first written constitution was in 1931, 
ዳቶ ዝሪትም ባይ ቢዝሮን ታከለ ወል ሐዋርያት ዲስ ኮንስቲትዩሽን ዎዝ ሪቫይዝድ ኢን 1955 देयर आर ፋክተርስ ፎር ዘ ሪቪዥን ኦፍ ዲስ ኮንስቲትዩሽን ዘ ሜይ ፋክተር ዎዝ ዘ ሪቪዥን ዘ ፌዴሬሽን ኦፍ ኤርትራ ዊዝ ኢትዮጵያ Eritrea was federated with our country Ethiopia in 1952 the second one the silver jungle of emperor 24 silver jungle of emperor Haile Selassie those are the factor for the revision of the constitution this constitution has 131 article and 8 chapters the constitution for the first time recognize the textual recognition for the right of the society as well as it includes the human right the declaration of 1948 that means the human right the modern military force and security the whole ta military academy it was open in 1942 haile selassie military academy open in harar in 1957 the imperial air force was set up in 1947 and the country nach labash was set up in the different province of ethiopia and territorial army was formed in 1959 student this all about the main achievement of imperial selassie what was the weakness of imperial selassie during the time the major weakness of autocratic state that means the major weakness of imperial selassie at the time absence of democratic right this was the first uh, drawback of imperial selassie second one lack of modernization in all sectors the other one irresponsibility use of government powers backward socio economic condition and ethiopia depend on foreign assist especially us support until 1973 and the failure to develop economic self reliance absence of agrarian including land tenure reforms those are the drawback of imperial selassie failure to make political reform including demo- democratization the failure to address proper properly the question for nationalities absence of saving for fast development those are the weakness of autocratic state what was the socio economic bring the time socio economic condition agriculture in 1916 more than 90% of ethiopian people still live in the countryside engaged on agriculture Ethiopia goes 60% of gdp from agriculture land was classified into three during this time cultivated uncultivated and semi cultivated by 1944 rise the amount of land tax and required payment to be made in money instead of the former asrat which are been paid in kind the process came to into three ways to to collect attacks from the society the first one the northern settlers who acquired tributary right over the southern peasant turned the land into private property second one madaria madaria merit or literacy temporary grant holders who had been granted private holding land of the salary the third one acquiring private land was the government land extensive grant government land to patriot soldiers civil servant and convert to a private holding land then everyone pay tax to the government the tenancy agreement during the time was verbal agreement the verbal agreement include the following for example one fourth rbo one third siso one half ukularash it includes rbo siso and ukularash it was implemented during the time in 1965 a land reform and development authority established would become minister of land reform and administration in 1966 the tenancy bill was presented to the parliament and rejected this led to opposition from student the basic question of the student land to the tailor that was the slogan of the student land to the tailor land to the tailor was the slogan of the student what about trade and industry In 1916 there was low circulation of goods in the country and low volume of export commodities the export commodities coffee accounted 65% of foreign earnings the bulk of coffee exported to USA USA about cover 70% of Ethiopian export the next Italy the third one Japan Ethiopian export 
first dominated by USA, then Italy, then Japan. Ethiopia import in rank from Italy, one, Japan, and USA. Those are import. Uh, before Italian occupation, before Italian occupation, the center of Addis Ababa was Arada. After Italian occupation, the center of Addis Ababa became Mercato. Mercato was founded by Italian. In the 1952, the General Ethiopian Transport Company was established. Ambassa was established. Ambassa's transport service was established in 1952. By, by the way, student, this all European calendars. Uh, it was a share company with the capital of Ethiopia, 96 million dollars, of which the government and the emperor through Maconan on the third. 20 bus came to provide a service. The 20 bus, the drivers and the mechanics are Italians. The drivers and the mechanics are Italians. The other one, Dutch company, HVA. HVA company was manufactured industry established in 1954. It set up two major cities at Wenji and Matara. It produced sugar. But the main source of income of the government was land tax, custom duty, and Adolola gold mine. Those are the main source of income for the government. The other one, education. The modern education in Ethiopian history was started during the reign of Emperor Milik, but in 1941, Minister of Education and Fine Art were created. In 1943 and 44, the first budget for education was adopted. Ayla Lase first secondary school was founded in 1943. Wingate Secondary School founded in 1946. By 1915, more than 500 primary schools and four secondary schools had come to exist in the different parts of Ethiopia. By 1961, the University College of Addis Ababa, together with college, became Haile Selassie First University. By 1967, a new university was organized in Asmara. By 1972, it became a government-owned. The Ethiopia Airtran Federation and Union. Ethiopia and Eritrea Federation and Union. Ethiopia Eritrea Federation 1952. Ethiopia Eritrea Union 1962. Eritrea became an Italian colony 1890 up to 1941. Then, in 1947, four powers of UN Commission inquiry represented USSR, USA, Britain, and France to solve the Ethiopia Eritrea problem. Again, in 1915, the UN appointed commission of five men from Burma, Guatemala, Norway, Pakistan, and South Africa to decide the Ethiopian case. Guatemala and Pakistan pro-independence. They support the independence of Eritrea. While South Africa and Burma, the federation of Eritrea with Ethiopia. Norway, Norway 